Hey, good morning, crafty friends. Thanks for stopping by. I have a new project to share with you that I'm super excited about. Um, oh gosh, I can't believe I said that. Everybody says that every single time they make a video. I'm really going to try to stop that. Anyway, um, this is kind of a, a unique project. Um, I'm going to pull back and show you that it is a mini album but it's much more and this is actually a little shelf that I had in my stash I got it at the Goodwill and I have it propped up with this um, ribbon because it's um, higher in the back than in the front but that worked perfectly to make it even so I can show you um, let me turn it around and show you that on the back it has these um, hooks already to hang it and that's the back so the whole you know the back of the cradle and everything is um, decorated and it's going to be hard to show this because it doesn't it wants to be dark let me see if I can nope let's see well there we go. That's a little bit better. So this is obviously a bottle cap. I got this at um, Art Attack. And um, I had seen Bonnie um, do, um, I just said it, <laughs> a bottle cap. And she put seed beads um, on hers. And I didn't have any. So I dropped these pearls. These are the smallest ones I had in a, in a light pink. And then it says, it's a girl. And then here... I have this really, really cute little horse, uh, rocking horse charm that I think I picked up at Michael's. And here's a, a teddy bear. And this is just a, a dangle that I had in my stash. Not in my mustache, in my stash. <laughs> Every time people say in my stash, it sounds like in mustache. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, um, obviously, you saw the teddy bear. This I picked up at Joann's quite some time ago. It was $2.99. And I used the Kaiser Craft um, Pitter Patter collection. And I had purchased this paper from Art Attack as well. Um, and then um, my friend, Scrappy Jazz from Down Under, um, Sam, had sent me the um, embellishment. Uh, ephemera as well as this adorable little cradle um, that's also from Kaiser Craft and she sent me um, you know the raw um, cradle and she sent me this also the the baby girl uh, wood cutout also from Kaiser Craft so um, yeah I covered um, my little shelf I added this um, I think this trim is from craft supplies one and then this flat back is from Suafua and I wanted to make something that appeared as though it was like a little rug so I layered some doilies I added this little fringe trim at the end and some rosette trim on and I hope that looks like a little rug <laughs> um, these beautiful pieces I believe I got these from Art Attack also love those corner pieces and then because the top of the cradle was resting on this, I had to find something and I had these little flower appliques in my stash. So I put those so that the uh, cradle would be even. Um, I had this trim in my stash. I believe I got from Lavish Laces. I added these little flat back um, resin flowers. And then I trimmed my cradle out with this cute little trim I believe is from Craft Supplies 1 and then more of that Suafua flat back trim I'm gonna have to head over to Suafua I've been using a lot of stuff I got from her um, so I'm gonna take the the mini out and show you that inside um, I've got it lined with the paper and then I put those rosettes in kind of to make it look comfy in there if that makes sense <laughs> and then on the end both sides are the same on the end um, I had these 
flower appliques in my stash and then I just added two flowers on top. So that's the shelf and the cradle. And then we have the mini album. And I think I'm gonna have to move this in order to have room. So um, I wanted to create something that I thought was, um, you know, substantial enough, but I um, was limited as to embellishments, and I'm going to cut this off when I'm done, um, because it needed to fit in the cradle. So um, this is the, there you go, now you can see it really well. This is the binding, and I love adding the altered uh, bottle cap. Um, on, on my binding. I've done it before on mini albums and I really do like it. So there's the charms. I had these, this pretty trim in my stash that I got when I was in San Antonio at Joann's. And then of course the gorgeous paper. And this is from, yeah, everything's from the collection. So, um, everything you see is from the, the Kaiser Craft collection. Um, I had this little, um, stick pin that I got from uh, Linda in our swap. And this was just a little piece of lace I had left in my stash. Um, I used it all up and that was just the last teeny little piece. I have a little bag where I keep all my little pieces and little short you know, stuff I have left over. Um, okay, so when you open up the book, it's like this and it's got a acetate pocket page here. And these are stickers from the sticker sheet. Um, I added some very pretty lace. I believe I got this from Alicia at Alicia's Glitz and More. And um, this pink trim is from Saw Crafters. And then, you know, I got some flat back pearls there. And then these two pull out, um, obviously from the collection. And this has got a little uh, pacifier charm and this has got a little baby spoon charm and these just are um, you know you can put a picture on the back and journal on the front with what's going on at one month two months three months four months and so forth and then this is 7 through 12 so those tuck in nicely right there then um, this page obviously a nice photo or even journaling there this opens up like that and these are all the cutouts punch outs and things from the collection I've got a magnetic closure and then it opens this way and oops there is a little pocket right here and then these two tags pull out okay I love making minis. It's hard to share them. <laughs> um, okay, so this page has got this little pull-out photo booklet. And that's the journaling area. It says sugar and spice, all things nice. So it's, it's simple in a lot of ways, um, but it's very... Uh, conducive to adding a lot of pictures in here it says baby and then girl and then this side here um, it says twinkle twinkle little star do you know how loved you are and this pops up or opens up and then it also opens this way And then there is a pull-out tag back here, or pull-out photo mat. And there's a, you, it's double-sided, so um, you can put a photo on both sides. Alrighty, then the next page looks like this. I just love this gorgeous paper. And then I have these pretty lace and trim in my stash. This is sentiments from the collection. And this just folds up. 
this is actually popped up so a photo can slide behind it. And then this side um, folds down. And this also, you know, you can tuck the picture behind it. Then the next page is like this. You know, you can either put a photo there or a sentiment. And this opens up this way. And then it opens like this. And also has a pull-out photo mat on the back. And all magnetic closures. Um, this side has another little booklet. And it looks like that. Tucks in there. And then the last two pages. This, I love this sentiment. Cuddles, kisses, snuggles, and love. That is what baby girls are made of. And that opens up like that. And then it opens up like this. And there's two more tags right here. And then um, this last page is an acetate pocket page again. It has this little banner. It says baby girl. I added some, some more pretty lace and trim. And then I just have these two pull-out photo mats. The teddy bears popped up so the photo can slide behind and so is the, the baby rattle. So there you go. That is, I'm going to go ahead and tie it up and put it back in the, the cradle so you can see it again. Um, as most of my projects are um, when I'm not creating for a swap, this is going to be available for sale and um, I would need to get $75 for the entire project. Um, it includes the shelf, the cradle, the teddy bear, and the mini album. So um, it's probably going to be about $15 to ship this. So um, it would be $90 um, total and that would include the shipping. So like I said, ready to hang on the wall um, to store the mini. Um, it's a whole, um, it's a whole, the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and um, Thanks so much for all your great comments. I appreciate all of you. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.